Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're talking about Windows 10 Mobile Build 14.327. Very exciting stuff. There's a couple new features, not a lot. It's mainly about messaging everywhere. Um, so that's basically the ability to send text from your PC. Uh, the feature only works with Windows phones right now. Obviously, that's why we needed a new Windows 10 Mobile Build. Uh, it's apparently going to work with Android, but it doesn't. So we're going to do this video a little differently today. Normally, I just point the, the camera down on the phone and we go through all the new features in the build. What we're going to do this time, um, in the spirit of being hands-on with the new fastening builds, we're using the new Connect app on... 14.3.16 on PCs, and we'll use that to cast the screen from the phone, and then we'll look at it that way, because remember, a PC does have to be part of this video anyway, because that's how we do the messaging everywhere. So let's dive in. Okay, so the main new feature in this build is messaging everywhere. Now, first of all, I just want to point out that, that you notice that I'm pointing the camera at the phone. I said I was going to use the Connect app, and there's a reason that I know I said that I could have edited it out, but I didn't want to because I've been prepping this video for over two hours, just trying to get the messaging everywhere to work, trying to get the mirror cast to work, casting the screen. It just doesn't work because the, these this build, and it's a combination of 14.3.27 and 14.3.16 for PCs. They're just so bad. Um, and it's really like, and I mean, after two and a half hours, I still can't get it to work. Um, I, I haven't even gotten it to work once to where I would just fire up the camera and start using it. Um, it's, it's that bad. Um, I know, I know what people are going to say, Oh, it's a fast ring build. It's a preview. And, and I know it's, 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 it's a preview and you don't have a right to complain, but, um, you should know before installing this build that it's really bad. Um, and so is the PC build. So hopefully it's going to get better soon. I will try to show you how messaging everywhere works. So the first thing that we got to do, we got to get into um, the messaging app here. And what we're going to do is we're going to open settings and we got to make sure that send text from on all my windows devices is on. You got to be signed in, uh, download messages through the last month, whatever you, um, you could pick any of these. Uh, by the way, you can notice here that um, the option to, uh, send from Skype is gone. The The Skype integration is gone. Now, um, they had said they were going to do this when they announced the Skype UWP app. I guess the integrated Windows 10 Skype apps were a very short experiment. All right, so next we have to go to our PC. Okay, so we have the messaging app open here. Now we have to go into settings over here, and we have to choose, you could download messages from the last month, same thing on the phone, whatever. Um, and we have to pick a phone. By the way, I changed the name of my phone because the first thing I was going to do was I was going to show that you can choose from different phones because you can. So I put a SIM in two different uh, Windows phones and it just came up Windows phone on both ones. So I tried to change the name of the phone. It's important that you know that this is not the name of my phone. The phone that I named it to, um, and by the way, I removed the SIM from the other one. That's why there's only one phone showing up now. But the phone that I renamed it to is not listed there. So we can try tests, um, and it, um, you know, um, some t I've I've gotten the 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 texting to work a couple times, um, and you can see. I mean, these are just random numbers that I just used, but you can see this one worked, um, and that seems to be the only one. It's 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 really hit or miss, mostly miss. Um, so back to the phone. That's enough of messaging ever, anywhere. It's it. I do find it interesting though that that they kind of say like try this thing, and it just really just doesn't work. Um, if anybody has some tips of why you know, because a lot of times I I, I put a SIM card in a phone and and um, it wouldn't show up there. I had to restart the phone a few times, restart the PC a few times. Which by the way, um, for the last quite a few redstone builds. I haven't actually been able to shut off my PC. It, it actually just stays on. If, it, I, if I don't keep it charged for a while, it the battery just goes dead. Um, so what else do we have here? We have um, the new insider settings. All right. Um, 
Update and security, we go to Windows Insider Program. We have the slider that we have on PCs. We set it to fast, we set it to slow. I did a factory reset on this phone in the two hours that I was trying to get the features to work. Um, and so the, it's not configured for the Insider Program, even though it's on a fast ring build. So I'm going to be curious to see that without the Windows Insider app, if I'll still be able to get the Insider builds with this. We'll be able to try that the next time there's a new build. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot new here. Um, I know I, I, I sound very negative about this because I've been very frustrated. This is a very, if, if you want to try out these features, it, it's going to be a rough path. Um, they also, Cortana's in more languages, Mexican, Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese, French, Canadian. This is something that they've announced uh, earlier in PC builds. It's, um, it's nice to see Cortana coming to more languages, but really, they got to get this thing out to... A lot more languages. A lot of people around the world are really upset that they just can't get Cortana. So, what's fixed? We fixed the issue causing language and speech uh, uh, packs to fail to download. That's great because that was an issue I had with the 930, if you recall. Um, we fixed the issue where, in some cases, your phone screen may not turn on and become unresponsive, and Windows Hello stops working if you use the power button to lock unlock your phone quickly. We fixed the issue where, in some cases, users might get in a state where neither space or enter working on the keyboard. Uh, we fixed the issue causing Facebook Messenger and other apps like WeChat, Transfer My Data, and UC Browser from failing to launch from Start or OL apps. We fixed an issue where diverse emoji couldn't be deleted from the text box in an interactive notification. We have updated the autocorrection logic so you can now abort an autocorrection by tapping on the bolded word. We've updated the glance screen so it will now reflect ease of access, text scaling. We fixed an issue where tethering over Bluetooth wouldn't work if Bluetooth had never been turned on before. We fixed an issue where you couldn't set a, a sample image as a lock screen background. Um, another thing that seems to have gotten fixed is you notice I have my 535 here and the camera actually works. If you've got a 535 then you know that um, it was just showing an error on the last build. So that's a good fix um, if you're a 535 user. Known issues. Feedback hubs not localized and the UI will be in English, US, only even with language packs installed. We're investigating a crash with the camera app when going into your camera roll. Um, there is an issue in which you may see duplicate apps under all apps showing as pending despite being installed and usable on your phone. You may also see some apps stuck in the store. To get out of the state, just start and pause a download in the store and then choose to resume all downloads. You may see square boxes in certain apps when using some of the new emoji. We're still getting support for the new emoji added throughout the systems. This will be resolved in a future build. There is a bug we're investigating that prevents some apps such as Tweedium from launching. We're investigating issues which cause mobile data to stop working but show as connected. Glance on off setting is not respected after updating to the new build. After updating, you can reset the setting to what you had done, you had before. All right, so, um, you know, the, it's a standard amount of fixes and known issues. I have to say, this is um, the the last few builds. If you go over to their blog posts, they they they've added quite a few over time. So I wouldn't be surprised if they find more here. Um, and I I also kind of wonder. These can't be all the known issues, right? Well, I mean, after all the things I've just been trying to get to work for the last two and a half hours, they have to know that some of this stuff doesn't work, that some of it's just buggy, right? But that's what you get into with the fast ring builds. Anyway, guys, I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.